Hi, in this video, we're going to be looking at the cosine graph. We're going to draw the function y equal to cos x in the domain 0 to 360 degrees. I want you to set up the x, y axis and mark of 0, 90, 180, 270, 360, and on your y axis, minus 1 and 1. You can pause the video and when you're ready, click on play. To draw the graph, we're going to use a calculator. So we're going to start at zero. So I need you to type in, remember the function, cos x. When x is zero, we're going to type cos zero on our calculators. And that should give you one. So on at zero, on the y-axis at one, we're going to plot our first point. Then we're going to go to 90. And we're going to type cos 90. And on our calculators, cos 90 is 0. So at 90, we're going to place a point. Then we're going to 180 degrees. You're going to type cos 180 on your calculator. And if you type cos 180, you should be getting negative 1. So at 180, and at the point negative 1, we'll have our next point. Next, we're going to type cos 270 degrees. And that should give us zero. So at 270, we're going to place our next point. Last, we have 360. We're going to type cos 360 on a calculator. That is one. And at one, we're going to plot our point. So we're now ready to join the dots to get our graph. A very gentle curve we want to produce. And that is the graph of y equal to cos x in a domain 0 to 360. So we're going to carry on drawing on the negative side. So we're going to draw now from minus 360 to 360. So we're going to type cos 0. At 0 we type in cos 0. And on a calculator that will give us 1. Then we're going to move to negative 90. And if we type cos negative 90 we should get 0. We're going to go to minus 180, and if we type cos minus 180, that will give us negative 1. We go to minus 270, we're going to type cos minus 270, and that should give us 0. At 360, we're going to type cos 360, and that should give us 1. And then we can join the dots to get a gentle curve. And remember in a previous video, we drew the positive side of the cost graph. So there we have it, the cost graph. Let's inspect this graph. Firstly, the maximum value for the cost x graph is 1. The minimum value on the y-axis is negative 1. And that gives us our range to be from minus 1 to 1. Looking at the amplitude, remember... The amplitude is the distance between the center line of the function and the top or bottom of the function. And we always take the absolute value. So the amplitude for this graph is your midline, your halfway line, and from here to there is one unit. That gives us an amplitude of one. The period, we're starting at one, and we will return to one, going down and coming up, and that should take us 360. So our period of this graph is also 360. Remember the period of the curve is the length of one cycle, one complete cycle. So we're going to draw y equal to minus 2 cos x in the interval 0 to 360. And we're going to use our calculators. At 0, we're going to type minus 2 cos 0. And that should give us negative 2. At 90, we're going to type minus 2 cos 90. And that should give us 0. At 180, we're going to type minus 2 cos 180. And that should give us 2. At 270, we're going to type minus 2 cos 270. And that gives us 0. At 360, we're going to type minus 2 cos 360. And that should give us negative 2. And we're going to join the dots to form a gentle curve. 
before I go to the range and amplitude, I want to get the curve up on the screen. So from here, we can see our range is from negative 2, that's our minimum value, to positive 2. The amplitude of this graph from the midline to the top is 2 units. And the period of this graph for one cycle, it's 360 degrees. So you'll notice that the number in front of the cos affects the amplitude of the graph. And you notice that the amplitude is 2. Thank you.